He is charming, cool, athletic, a good cook, but more importantly, he's a clean freak. Aoyama is idolized and respected by everyone, but they can only admire him from afar due to his misophobia. Despite that, he plays soccer, a rather dirty sport. As a playmaker for Fujimi High School soccer club, Aoyama avoids physical contact at all costs and clearly dribbles towards victory. However, the path to nationals will not be easy for Fujimi's underdog team. But alongside striker Kaoru Zaizen, Aoyama will show everyone that even as a clean freak, there are things he's willing to get dirty for. After a crushing defeat of 21-0 at the National Junior Badminton Tournament, Nagisa Aragaki's love for her sport begins to distort. Unable to deal with the shame of loss, she starts to terrorize the members of her high school badminton club. Her grueling drills bring some to the verge of tears while others quit the club outright. With the team losing members and new prospects being too terrified to join, the future of the badminton club looks exceptionally grim. That is, until Kentaro Tachibana joins as the new head coach. Not only is he an Olympic level player, but he also comes bearing a secret weapon, Ayano Hanesaki, the girl who defeated Nagisa six months ago. However, Ayano is not to rival Nagisa members, but a girl with conflicted feelings wanting to distance herself from badminton. With a future in sports now on the line, Nagisa must find a way to face her fears of inadequacy, heal her rival's troubled heart, and bring victory to the Kitakomachi High School's badminton. <laughs> Stride, an extreme sport that combines parkour, free running, relay and sprinting, is what made first year high school student Nana Sakurai enroll in Honan Academy after being captivated by the school's stride team. Sharing the mutual intention of joining the team is a fellow first year and stride maniac Takeru Fujiwara and together they request to join. Much to their dismay, however, the strike club is no longer active due to the lack of members and they are now operating under the Shogi Club. In order to revive the strike club, Nana and Takeru recruit the first year Riku Yagami, a fast runner who is interested in almost every sport. With this new team, the club now aims high at a new goal, to win the prestigious end of summer competition and bring the Honan strike team back to their prime. <laughs> In professional sumo, there are no weight classes. It's a savage sport where the strongest survive and anyone willing to test their metal can step into the ring. There is, however, a minimum size requirement to be a pro sumo wrestler and young Hinomaru Ushio, incredibly talented and hardworking though he may be, does not meet that requirement. This small boy has big dreams of reaching the highest class of sumo, Hinoshita Kaisan. The only way he could possibly go pro is if he becomes the high school Yokozuna, a title given to the strongest wrestler in high school tournaments. Ushio is under a lot of pressure as well as a time limit. If he can show off his skills in the high school tournaments, he may lose his chance to go pro permanently and the odds are stacked against him. Instead of enrolling in Ishigami High, the best school for sumo in Japan, he enrolls in Odachi High and must build a sumo club from the ground up with the one devout member, Shinya Ozaki. Odachi High is a true underdog of the sumo world, but Ushio has to push forward with all his strength if he's going to make it professionally. <laughs> Tour de France is the biggest bicycle race in the world. Now, a new achievement is about to be recorded in the history of Tour de France. The top racer is a Japanese boy named Shinozaki Mikoto. Why don't you join our bicycle club? said Fukuzawa, Shinozaki's Mikoto's secret lover. Unfortunately, despite being a high school student, he doesn't know how to ride the bike. With no real idea of what the bicycle club is, he earnestly practices. After he overcomes this challenge, while he pedals along, something that was smoldering in his mind for 15 years ignites. I want to devote myself to bike riding. Experiencing failure with his friends and rivals, he pedals towards becoming the top rate. <laughs> 
This story is about a boy named Tsukamoto who is physically weak yet mentally strong. On the first day of school, he gets invited by his classmate Kazama to a soccer match at night. While playing the game, Kazama finds a hidden potential within Tsukamoto. Watch him as he unravels his abilities to become an outstanding cheerleading runner. This anime teaches us not to give up no matter what, to not blame ourselves just because it didn't work out. You can call yourself a loser when you have the ability to change it if you put your hardest on the line. That is what it means to... <laughs> Rugby is a sport where anybody can be a star when they hold the ball. The rules are simple. One player has to carry the ball past the goalposts across the field while avoiding the other team, who are allowed to use all their force to knock the enemy down. However, the player can pass to a teammate behind them or kick the ball before they are tackled. Unlike other sports, the game continues even when the person holding the ball is taken down. Kenji Gion is a short but feisty high school freshman at Kanagawa High School. Right after the school's opening ceremony, he meets the tall and timid Sumiaki Iwashimizu and the two of them get an invitation to observe the rugby club. When Gion watches the match, he realizes that even though big and tall guys have an advantage, there are positions for people of all shapes and sizes. Immediately convinced that he has found a sport he can excel at despite his short stature, he signs up, though Iwashimizu declines. Gion is unable to accept Iwashimizu's excuses and drags him back into the sport. Their training becomes intense as they aim to become the champions of Hanazono, the national high school rugby championship. Yoi! Hey! <laughs> East Tokyo United, or ETU, has been struggling in Japan's top soccer league for the past few years. It has taken everything they have just to avoid relegation. To make matters even worse, the team has lost 5 matches in a row, leading to abysmal team morale. Even the fans are beginning to abandon them, and rumors hint that the home ground municipality is going to withdraw their support. With countless coaches fired and poor financial choices in hiring players, it is a downward spiral for ETU. The board of directors, under pressure from general manager Kosei Goto, takes a gamble and hires a new coach, the slightly eccentric Takeshi Tatsumi. Though considered a great soccer player when he was younger, Tatsumi abandoned ETU years ago. However, since then he has proven himself successful as the manager of one of England's lower division amateur teams. Tatsumi's task won't be easy. ETU fans call him a traitor and the team is pitted against others with larger budgets and better players. Yet even the underdog can take down a Goliath, and Tatsumi claims he's an expert at giant killing. Lacking what is considered the most important asset in basketball, Sora Kurumatani has struggled with his short height since the inception of his love for the game. Despite missing this beneficial aspect, Sora's unwavering drive never allowed his small stature to dictate his ability to play, believing strongly in trying his hardest and persistently practicing to prove his capability. In hopes of satisfying his mother's wishes, Sora enters Kuzuryu High School to become a member of the basketball club and compete wholeheartedly in tournaments. However, Sora is disappointed to find out that the boys' basketball team is nothing but a retreat for punks who have no interest in the sport. Sora also comes to learn that brothers Chiaki and Momoharu Hanazono, whom he becomes acquainted with, have also lost their one-spirited motivation to play. Gradually affected by Sora's impressive skills, sheer effort and tireless devotion to basketball, the boys unexpectedly find their burned-out passion for the game rekindling once <laughs> Senshado is a traditional sport using World War II era tanks in elimination based matches. Widely practiced by women and girls alike, it's advertised as a form of art geared towards making ladies more prominent in culture and appealing to men. Becoming a worldwide phenomenon over time, the influence of Senshado leads to the creation of a world championship which will soon be held in Japan. 
Miho Nishizumi, who comes from a lineage of well-respected Senshado specialists, is at odds with the sport after a traumatic event led to her retirement and eventually a rift to form between her and her family. To steer clear of the practice as much as possible, she transfers to Orai Girl High School where the Senshado program has been abolished. However, with the news of the upcoming championship, the school revives the Tankery program and Miho is pushed into joining. Now, with the aid of some new friends, she must overcome her past and once again take command of a squadron of tanks in an effort to save her school from closure, all while proving to her family that the Nishizumi style of Senshado is not solely about victory. Chihaya Ayase, a strong-willed and tomboyish girl, grows up under the shadow of her older sister. With no dreams of her own, she is contented with her share in life till she meets Arata Wataya. The quiet transfer student in her elementary class introduces her to competitive Karuta, a physically and mentally demanding card game inspired by the classic Japanese anthology of 100 poets. Captivated by Arata's passion for the game and inspired by the possibility of becoming the best in Japan, Chihaya quickly falls in love with the world of Karuta. Along with the prodigy Arata and her haughty but hardworking friend Taichi Mashima, she joins the local Shiranami society. The trio spends their idyllic childhood days playing together until circumstances split them up. Now in high school, Chihaya has grown into a Karuta freak. She aims to establish the municipal Mizusawa High competitive Karuta club, setting her sights on the national championship at Omijingu. Reunited with the now indifferent Taichi, Chihaya's dream of establishing a Karuta team is only one step away from becoming true. She must bring together members with a passion for the game that matches her own. <laughs> Diligent and methodical honor student Echiro Maro decides to exercise more during the little free time he has available because he is worried about his health. For this reason, after seeing a flyer, he joins the Southern Tennis Club at the beginning of his freshman year. During his free trial at the club, he meets Natsu Takasaki, another first-year student who is determined on becoming a professional tennis player due to her love for the sport. In contrast, Echiro's study-oriented life exists because he believes that it is what he has to do, not because he enjoys it. However, his monotonous days come to an end as the more he plays tennis, the more he becomes fascinated by it. Baby Steps is a story of a boy who makes the most of his hardworking and perfectionist nature to develop his own unique playstyle. Little by little, Eichiro's skills begin to improve and he hopes to stand on equal footing with tennis's best players. Sakamichi Onoda is a cheerful otaku looking to join his new school's anime club eager to finally make some friends. Unfortunately, the club has been disbanded and he takes it upon himself to revive it by finding students who are willing to join. Without much luck, Onoda decides to make a round trip to Akihabara on his old bulky bicycle. A weekly 90km ride he has been completing since 4th grade. This is where he meets fellow first year student Shunsuke Imaizumi, a determined cyclist who is using the school's steep incline for practice. Surprised by Onoda's ability to climb the hill with his specific type of bicycle, Imaizumi challenges him to a race, with a proposition of joining the anime club should Onoda win. And thus begins the young boy's first foray into the world of high school bicycle racing. Yuwamushi Pedal is first and foremost an inspirational story of the weak surpassing the odds and triumphing over the strong. It will not leave you with something you haven't already seen before, and while it is most certainly not deep or philosophical, it excels at doing what matters the most leaving a smile on the viewer's face.
With a straight pitch that completely missed the batter, Agent Samura loses his final middle school baseball game. Frustrated by this defeat, Agent and his teammates bow to reach the national tournament once they are in high school. But everything changes when a scout unexpectedly invites him to Tokyo's prestigious Seido High School after seeing the potential in his unusual pitching style. Encouraged by his teammates, Agent accepts the offer ready to improve his skills and play at a much more competitive level of baseball. However, now surrounded by a large number of skilled players, Agent struggles to find his place on the team. He declares that he will one day become the team's ace, but it's only if fellow first-year Satoru Furuya doesn't take the title first with his breakneck fastballs that earn him a coveted spot on the starting roster. With the addition of these talented new players to an already powerful lineup, the Seido baseball team aims to become the best in Japan, basing off against the number of formidable foes that stand in their way. Tatara Fujita is a shy middle schooler who has no particular plan for the future. He has gotten through life by avoiding any kind of confrontation and blending in with the crowd. But blending in isn't enough to get out of trouble as some bullies harass him for money. Luckily, he is saved by a man named Kaname Sengoku. Kaname invites Tatara to his dance studio. Although he would normally never set foot in such a place, Tatara is captivated by Sengoku's commanded presence. Granted an opportunity to dance with fellow classmate Shizuku Hanaoka, who often practices at the studio, Tatara realizes there's something about the idea of being put in the limelight and dancing where people will see him that keeps him coming back. With an earnest, passionate drive to improve, Tatara begins the journey into the world of competitive dance. <laughs> The hero comes, the hero comes, the hero comes. Chant these words in your mind and I'll surely come to you. This mantra is what Makoto Tsukimoto repeats as a source of motivation when he fights through the stress of not only grueling ping pong matches but also in situations of his life. Makoto doesn't fight alone, he and his friends, Yukata Hoshino, nicknamed Smile and Peko, respectively, are two boys who have grown up playing ping pong together nearly every day. Peko, brimming with confidence, aims to be the best table tennis player in the world. Smile, on the other hand, shows little ambition. Nevertheless, the two have always struck together with a bond built upon their mutual love for the sport. Every year, students from all across Japan gather for the inter-high table tennis competition to achieve national and international stardom. Through intense training and competition, only the very best is preserved. From the avant-garde director of Tatami Galaxy, Masaki Yuasa, Ping Pong the animation serves a tale of ambition with its fair shares of bumps along the way. Whatever the odds, Peko and Smile will face them together. Monster Former ace runner of Sendai Josei High School, Kakeru Kurahara is chased away from a convenience store for shoplifting. Shaking off his pursuer, he runs into Haiji Kiyose, another student from his university. Haiji is impressed by Kakeru's ability and persuades him to live in Chikusei So, the rundown apartment where Haiji resides along with eight other students. Having lost his entire apartment deposit at the Makjong parlor, Kakeru accepts the offer reluctantly. However, Haiji reveals a secret during Kakeru's welcoming party. The apartment is actually the dormitory of the Kansei University Trek Club. He unveils his ultimate goal of participating in Hakone Ekiden, one of the most prominent university marathon relay races in Japan. Unfortunately, all the residents apart from Haiji and Kakeru are complete running novices. Worse still, none of the inhabitants are even remotely interested in being involved with Haiji's ridiculous plan. With only months before the deadline, will the fourth year student be able to convince them otherwise and realize his elusive dream of running in a Hakone Ekiden? Kuroko-kun, 
いるあああの抵抗中のあんな強豪にいたんなら見りゃすぐ分かると思ったんだけど今日は休みみたいねいいよじゃあ練習始めようあのすいません黒子は僕です<笑>テイコージュニアズハイスクールバスケットボールチームはクラウンチャンピオン3年間の3年間の5アウトセンディングプレイヤーを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオンを見つけたことによるクラウンチャンピオン Taiga Kagami, a promising player returning from the U.S., and Tetsuya Kuroko, a seemingly ordinary student whose lack of presence allows him to move around unnoticed. Although Kuroko is neither athletic nor able to score any points, he was a member of Teiko's basketball team, where he played as a phantom sixth man who easily passed the ball and assisted his teammates. Kuroko no Basuke follows the journey of Seren's players as they attempt to become the best Japanese high school team by winning the Inter High Championship. To reach their goal, they have to cross pathways with several powerful teams, some of which have one of the five players with godlike abilities, whom Kuroko and Taiga make a pact to defeat. Makunochi Ippo has been bullied his entire life. Constantly running errands and being beaten up by his classmates, Ippo has always dreamed of changing himself, but never has the passion to act upon it. One day, in the midst of yet another bullying, Ippo is saved by Takamura Mamoru, who happens to be a boxer. Ippo faints from his injuries and is brought to the Kamogawa boxing gym to recover. As he regains consciousness, he is awed and amazed at his new surroundings in the gym, though lacks confidence to attempt anything. Takamura places a photo of Ippo classmates on a punching bag and forces him to punch it. It is only then that Ippo feels something stir inside him and eventually asks Takamura to train him in boxing. Thinking that Ippo does not have what it takes, Takamura gives him a task deemed impossible and gives him a one week time limit. With a sudden desire to get stronger for himself and his hardworking mother, Ippo trains relentlessly to accomplish the task within the time limit. Thus, Ippo's journey to the top of the boxing world began. Inspired after watching a volleyball ace nicknamed Little Giant in action, small stature Choyo Hinata revives the volleyball club at his middle school. The newly formed team even makes it to a tournament, however, their first match turns out to be their last, when they are brutally squashed by the king of the court, Tobio Kageyama. Hinata vows to surpass Kageyama, and so after graduating from middle school, he joins Karasuno High School volleyball team, only to find that his sworn rival, Kageyama, is now his teammate. Thanks to his short height, Hinata struggles to find his role on the team, even with his superior jumping power. Surprisingly, Kageyama has his own problems that only Hinata can help with, and learning to work together appears to be the only way for the team to be successful. Based on Haruichi Furudate's popular shonen manga of the same name, Haikyuu is an exhilarating and emotional sport comedy following two determined athletes as they attempt to patch a heated rivalry in order to make their high school volleyball team the best in Japan. Okay. 